This is a quick guide to Japan's first indigenously designed and successfully flown military aircraft, the Kaishiki No. 1. I apologize in advance for my questionable pronunciation. Uh, for reference, Japanese names are presented in the traditional fashion, with the family name first. The Japanese military had had an interest in lighter than air aviation since the commencement of their modernization under the Meiji Restoration. The Navy had made a manned ascent in 1876 using a tethered balloon, but quickly lost interest. However, the Army was much more enthusiastic and pursued the technology to the extent that they used balloons for reconnaissance during the Russo Japanese War of 1904 1905. In 1907, a balloon unit was established near Tokyo, followed by the establishment of the Rinji Gunyo Kikuyu Kenkuyu Kai Provisional Military Balloon Research Association on 30th of July 1909 under the leadership of Lieutenant General Nagaoka Gaishi. Members of that association were selected from the Army, Navy, Tokyo Imperial University, and the Central Meteorological Observatory, and there were 14 members in all. They established their work at Takorazawa, a city 18 miles northwest of the center of Tokyo. Despite the name of this association indicating its sole interest to be in lighter than air flight, much of its attention was in powered heavier than aircraft, and it was the only Japanese organization to direct its efforts towards this new means of flight. In 1910, two Japanese army captains, Tokugawa Yoshitoshi and Hino Kumazo, were sent to Europe to learn to fly in France and Germany, respectively. Each brought back samples of their training aircraft an Henri Farman III from France and a Hans Grad monoplane from Germany. Details on Hino are unfortunately scarce, much biographical information being lost during the firebombing of Tokyo in 1945. Tokugawa is better known and became the father of Japanese military aviation, designing and flying aircraft, and establishing a training program for pilots. Tokugawa had graduated from the Imperial Japanese Army Academy in 1903, having specialized in military engineering, and so it was a logical choice to be sent to France as a military attache, where, in addition to learning to fly, he studied aeronautical engineering and military applications for the use of aircraft in combat. On the morning of 19th December 1910, Tokugawa flew Japan's first official successful powered aircraft flight in his Farman III at Yuyogi Parade Ground, where Tokyo's Yuyogi Park is now located. I say official because Hino Kumazo had accidentally achieved a brief 100 meter flight at an altitude of 2 meters while taxiing his Hansgrad monoplane five days earlier. Hino also flew a demonstration flight later on the 19th. To the thunderous applause of 100,000 spectators, Japan was introduced to modern, heavier than air flight. Public interest in flight thus captured, military attention was turned towards the technology as a weapon. The Army established an aviation division, and on the 5th of April 1911, Captain Tokugawa piloted the inaugural flight at Japan's first permanent airfield in Tokorozawa. He and Hino flew regular demonstration flights before rapt audiences, and Tokorozawa became the focal point of aircraft development in Japan. On the 23rd of April 1911, Tokugawa set a Japanese record with a Bleriot Type 11, flying 48 miles in 1 hour 9 minutes 30 seconds. On the 9th of June, he achieved Japan's first cross country flight with another unnamed officer in the Henri Farman biplane, flying from Tokorozawa to Kawagoe and back in 35 minutes, covering a total of 26 miles. Later that same day, he again left Tokorozawa in the Blerio 11, but crashed near Kawagoe, making this the first aircraft accident in Japan. In 1911, Tokugawa designed and supervised the construction of the first Japanese manufactured military aeroplane. This work took place at the Army Balloon Corps facility at Nakano Village, west of Shinjuku, Tokyo. Using as a pattern the Henri Farman of 1910 that he had imported, design began in April 1911 and construction was started the following July. 
Assistant engineer Nakazato Goichi supervised the construction, while others assisting were privates first class Oshima Gizaburo, Sujiyama Kichitaro, and Hirano Jinzo, along with a carpenter and ten soldiers. Although the engine and propeller were imported from France, all other materials were procured in Japan. The engine was a 50 horsepower Roan Omega 7 cylinder rotary that saw considerable use in aircraft at the time and was a respected and reliable design. Likewise, the propeller, designed by Lucien Chauvier, was one of the best in the world and went on to considerable success, over a hundred thousand being used in the aircraft that saw service during World War I. The airframe was primarily constructed of Hinoki. In Japanese Cyprus, and covering was two layers of silk glued together by what was described as liquid rubber. Attachment fittings, bracing wires and turnbuckles were specially procured from ironwork companies or bought from local hardware shops. While this was regarded as a Farmon type, it did have its unique differences. It was converted to a sesquiplane design, giving it reduced wing area and therefore increased speed. A change was made to the aerofoil by having a greater frontal curve in the hope of achieving better lift. Ailerons were on the upper surface only, and the tail was simplified by having a single horizontal tail surface. The engine and propeller were mounted higher than in the original design, and therefore the undercarriage could be shortened. A windshield was added for the pilot. Curiously, these changes reflect similar development of the Farman III, made by Henri Farman himself, resulting in the Farman Militaire Rapide that saw service during the Italo-Turkish and First Balkan Wars between 1911 and 1913. To what extent Captain Tokugawa was aware of these developments is unknown, but it is tantalizing to think that possibly he made the changes independently. When completed in October 1911, it was known as the Tokugawa type aeroplane, but later was given the official identity Kaishiki No. 1. The aircraft was moved to the Army Facility and Flying Field at Takarazawa, where it made its first flight on the 13th of October, piloted by Captain Tokugawa. The flight recorded on the 25th of October 1911 indicated that the aeroplane reached an altitude of 50 meters, or 164 feet, and attained a speed of 72 kilometers per hour, that is 45 miles per hour. A maximum recorded height was 85 meters, 278 feet, and the distance covered was about a mile, or 1600 meters. As tests continued, it was discovered that the propeller ground clearance was too small, causing the propeller blades to make contact with the grass, reducing its rotation speed and resultant power. After modifying this and other necessary changes, the aeroplane was known as the Kaizo Kaishiki No. 1, Kaizo signifying modified. Changes to the structure included lengthening the undercarriage and fitting landing skids not integral with the airframe structure so that they could be more easily replaced when broken. The twin rudders were replaced by a single and larger area rudder to take better advantage of the propeller slipstream for improved directional control. Longer interplane struts gave a greater spacing between the two wings and the windshield removed to give the student pilot a better sense of speed, thought at that time to be essential. A controversy developed over which aeroplane was the first Japanese-made aircraft to fly successfully, this Kaishiki No. 1 or the civilian Narahara No. 2. The problem with the latter was that after a straight flight of 60 meters as a height of 4 meters, the undercarriage of the Narahara aircraft had failed on landing after its flight on 5th May 1911 at Takarazawa, five months before the army-built craft was flown. In the early days of aviation, this would certainly have qualified, but time and technology had moved on. With confidence gained by the success of the Kaishiki No. 1, the Provisional Military Balloon Research Association began construction of the Kaishiki No. 2 in March of 1912. Like the first, this was designed by Captain Tokugawa. It was built in No. 47 hangar at Takorozawa Flight Test Grounds and first flown in June of 1912 by Tokugawa himself. 
Similar designs completed in November of 1912 were the number 3 and number 4 to test different engine configurations. Basically, the number 2 was like the number 1, but had a longer undercarriage for better propeller ground clearance. Some changes were made in the interplane strut configuration, and the tailplane and rear elevator were enlarged to improve stability. Engines varied with these aeroplanes, and they were often interchanged. Since they were pusher types, the engine arrangement with a 50 horsepower gnome rotary had the propeller between the engine mounting and the engine, but the number 4, powered by a 50 horsepower Anzani rotary engine, had its propeller behind the engine. To further demonstrate the capability of the aeroplane at this time, the first flight to visit Tokyo was made on 27th October 1912 by the Kaishiki No. 2. To make this flight, of about 18 miles, the removable windscreen nacelle was reinstalled and Captain Tokugawa made this historic flight, starting at 0558 and landing at the Yoyogi Parade Grounds at 0745. After refueling, he circled the major boroughs of Tokyo and landed once again at Yoyogi for fuel. Returning to Korozawa, his starting point, he had covered 96.5 kilometers, or about 60 miles, a major accomplishment at the time. These early Tokugawa-type aircraft, as they were more popularly called, were featured in many exhibitions, both singly and together, receiving considerable press coverage. Since the military was the greatest motivator in developing the aeroplane in Japan, and with its intended use as a military weapon, it should be noted that the army used the Kaishiki No. 4 to demonstrate, in December of 1913, the dropping of simulated bombs. Of all types, only one of each was built. In terms of the number manufactured, they would not be considered successful. However, as a period of training and experience gained in design and manufacture, they were a significant and successful introduction for the Japanese into early aviation. No original Kaishikis exist. However, there is a replica of the Kaishiki No. 1 displayed in the Takarazawa Aviation Museum.